8. What is the conjugate acid of each of the following? And then what's the conjugate base of each? Then we have letter F out of the bunch. So in this case, we have to find the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of H3O2+. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split this down the middle, and we're going to work with one side and then go to the other side. Now, if you could find both the conjugate acid and the conjugate base from a single ion, that means that in some situations, H3O2 plus can act as an acid, and then in other situations, it could act as a base. If you have an ion that can act both as an acid and a base, it is amphoteric or amphiprotic. Just means that they can act as both an acid and a base, and because of that, you can find conjugate bases and acids. So let's just pretend that H3 O2 positive was acting as an acid in some solution. Let's just find that conjugate base. And the word conjugate just kind of means other. It's what is produced if this was an acid. Conjugates are always going to be on the product side. Now remember, bases are always one hydrogen less than the acid. So all you got to do is just lose one hydrogen. So find the hydrogen. Here it is. There was three of them, so all you got to do is knock it down one number to find the conjugate base. So it won't be three anymore, it'll be two. So I'm going to say H2. All the other elements come along for the ride, so that's O2. And now you just have to correct the charge. Since you removed a hydrogen, you minus one from the original charge. Now there was a plus sign here, that means that it was a plus one. So when you come over here, you say, okay, plus one, that's what it was, minus one, plus one minus one is zero. So I don't have to write the charge up there. And this would be the conjugate base. I'm just going to write con base for short. Now, in a different situation, H3O2 positive could have acted as a base. So let's find out what the conjugate acid was. And on the flip side, remember, conjugate acids are always one more hydrogen than its base. So all you got to do is just gain one. You bump up the number one. So there were three hydrogens here. So just bump this three up to a four. So now it's going to be H4. The two oxygens come along for the ride. And now you just have to correct the charge. You add one, since you added a hydrogen, to the overall charge still was a plus one charge, so plus one, plus one, one plus one is three. Just kidding. Did I get you? <laughs> plus two. And there, and there you go. That is your conjugate acid. Okay, cool. That's it, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much, and my brother and I, we truly do appreciate you all because if it weren't for you guys, this channel would not be where it's at. So thank you so much for that. We're almost at 20K, which is absolutely incredible. So thank you. You rock. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.